Hey guys, it's me. I've been wanting to do this video for the last couple of days, ever since I watched this movie. I'm finally, finally getting to this. The movie review for The King's Speech. I'm finally doing this. You know what, I might make this a premiere as well. Who knows? But, I've seen, I've now seen this movie once. This past Tuesday I saw it and I wanted to do a video for it and I said I was going to do it on Wednesday, didn't get to. Said I might do it on Thursday, didn't get to. Was going to do it on Friday, didn't get to because I just kept having things get in the way of me doing this video. <clears throat> but let's get into it. I, this video, <coughs> this movie, it's about uh, King George the Sixth. Obviously, I think if his brother, obviously, of Great Britain, this was set during the early, it started out, I think, in the early 1930s, early to mid-1930s, and then once the movie ends, it's gotten all the way to 1940, when the World War II first begins. This movie is based off of, I guess, a true story of King George the Sixth, who had a speech impediment, and his wife got him an appointment with a speech therapist, with a renowned speech therapist. I guess he was renowned because of his... Uh, and secretly, his wife secretly enlists an eccentric speech therapist, played by Jeffrey Rush. The two eventually grow to become friends, and they become, and they, apparently, at the end of the movie, it says that they stay friends throughout the rest of their lives. So it's interesting. Interesting. To see this guy try to find his, it's a great movie, it's a great movie. It's about just under, it's 119 minutes, but I did not see. 60 minutes is an hour, 120 is, oh. Basically, it's an hour and 59 minutes. It's an hour and 59 minutes. Just under two hours. Not bad for a two-hour movie, but basically a two-hour movie. So, yeah, Helena Bonham Carter plays the King George's wife, Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. Also got, like, Guy Pierce and Derek Jacobi, who, I, who I've seen in a couple of other movies, a few other movies. Movies. And this one, I'd, I'd highly recommend this movie. It's rated R for some language, but that's not, but that's all. That's all, so. It's, so, all in all, it's a great movie. If I had to rate this movie, I'd rate it a, uh, um, four, maybe four and a half out of ten. Maybe if I'm stretching it a bit, I'll do four, four and a quarter out of five, 4.25 out of five, because it's a great movie. It's it's an amazing movie, and I definitely would recommend you watching it and getting it if you haven't already. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not much else to really say. Not much else, really. I mean, Colin Firth, if I'm not mistaken, he won the Oscar that for this movie. So I'm thinking, yeah, that's a good movie. And it's got and Helena Bonham Carter's apparently was an Oscar nominee and also Jeffrey Rush is an Oscar winner. So basically three Oscar nominees slash winners in this movie. It's bound to be good. And it's Colin Firth. I like him. I have a few movies with him in it, and he's obviously amazing in this movie. As well as everybody. Everybody's great in this movie. So like I said, it's a great movie. Rated a 4 out of 10, maybe 4.5. I'd recommend it. Rated R for some language, but that's about it. I will be uploading this video as soon as I can. And until next time, uh, yeah, when you see this movie, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it as a premiere. By the time you watch this video, it will already, obviously, will have already been. If I do this as a premiere, it'll already be uploaded by the time you watch this. But then again, I'll just 
fly myself off. I gotta go, guys. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.